And you guys, these just reminds me of anthropology. Oh, I almost dropped it. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, Nyajong, it's Evie here, and welcome back to my channel, or hello if you guys are new. So for today, I am so excited to check you guys my yard sale haul. But first, I do want to share some footage of Emma and I going to these yard sales, and then I'll share the haul at the end, which I'm so excited about. This has been my first yard sale that I've went to this year, and it's been years since I've been to a yard sale. I think the last time I went to one was back in 2019 or maybe even before that I don't even remember the last one I do remember was when we went to the longest yard sale in Tennessee um that one was really fun so yeah and I don't remember what year that was but anyways um we went to one this past Saturday um it was really fun I had six on my list that I had to go and see what they had because they had photos and some stuff that I was really interested in um and then along the way there were other yard sales too that we stopped by randomly just to check out what they had so that was really fun by the end of it I think we went to about 20 yard sales within four hours I know it was so excessive Emma hated me because I kept telling her, okay, this is the last one. This is the last one. I'm like, wait, there's another one right there. <laughs> but it was fun. It was definitely fun for me. I, I can't say for Emma, but for me, I had a lot of fun and I found a lot of amazing pieces that I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's rewind back in time and go back to Saturday morning.
Emma. She's just being crazy over there. <laughs> She's being a ghost. Um, but you guys, look. I'm excited. I'm so excited to show you guys all the things I purchased. So before I show you guys my haul, I wanted to tell you guys about this amazing company that reached out to me. And this company is called Whisk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm so sorry if I'm not. But this company specializes in printed linen tote bags. What's really great about their tote bags is that they use environmentally friendly materials to create them. So I really love that about their bags. Um, they believe in reducing plastic waste and protecting Earth's environment, which I thought is a really great business model because as you guys may or may not know, I love getting things secondhand and that is a way for me to help Earth's environment as well. Um, so knowing that these products are not only beautiful, but environmentally friendly is a really great plus in my books. So when you guys visit their website, which I will link down below for you guys, you can see that they have a ton of prints and design to choose from. Those are their standard tote bags. You can also choose the custom route where you can make your own special unique bag that nobody else will have. And I definitely took advantage of that. I had them make me one with my logo and you guys, I love it. The bag came out so nice, really pretty, and of course, one of a kind. Um, so I did receive five bags from them. One of them, like I said, was a custom bag. And then the other four were their standard bags. I'll link those one down below for you guys if you're interested in buying those one as well. So two of them I did give away to two of my viewers in my previous uh, giveaway. And then I kept the other two. And you guys, I love these bags. They're just great to throw in your car. When you go to the store, you can have extra bags with you. Whenever you go to the farmer's market, flea market, wherever it is, it's great to have these. So if you guys are interested in buying some of their bags, make sure you use the links down below. But not only that, I do have an additional 10% off coupon for you guys to you so definitely take advantage of it with that being said let's get into this haul so at the first yard sale i bought three very beautiful pieces originally i went in for a brass shelving but turns out it wasn't brass and it was super wobbly literally about to break down so i decided to pass on that um and instead i got three very beautiful pieces the first two of the three are beautiful mirrors you guys <gasps> look at how beautiful they are and what do they remind you guys of <laughs> they definitely give me the anthropology feel the anthropology vibe so much because of the detailing and the gold and the vintage look if you guys have been following anthropology or you guys know about the anthropology mirrors then you will know that they cost an arm and a leg for them. And these mirrors just so happen to look like them, <laughs> but at a cheaper price. I got each of these mirrors for only a dollar each. And they are quite big. They're not as big as the anthropology ones, but these are actually really big. I'm comparing it to myself. And you guys can see how big these two mirrors are. And I love, I love the detailing of these two mirrors. It's just so beautiful. Definitely gives you that vintage look that you want. Um, these are made of plastic. They look like plastic. They're not wood. I think wood are more sought after. Uh, but these are made of really thick, hard plastic. So I don't think these are going to break really easily. And yeah, two very different sizes, but looks so so amazing together um paired together and i know you guys are gonna hate me but i don't plan to keep these two beautiful mirrors as much as i do love them i really don't have the space to put them in my home so i am going to resell it as a pair i think they will look really great together and will give you that anthropology dupe um, you know, most of us can't afford, unfortunately, but I think if I pair them really nicely, I can definitely get a really good profit from these two beautiful mirrors. So the third piece that I got from the same yard sale are these beautiful florals. <laughs> what do you guys think? No, no. Okay. I'm just kidding. It's not the florals. It's this beautiful vase. 
but guess what this is solid brass yes you guys this is solid brass made from india how cool is that and what's even better is that i got this for only three dollars yes here's a little price tag on this side like wow wow that that is why i love to go to yard sales because you just never know what you'll find and when you do find really cool pieces they are just so affordable anyways i really love the look of this uh vase i love the details i love love the handles i'm a sucker for handles <laughs> really love handles um but this vase just looks really nice and it kind of gives me the roman era time right during the olympians I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> i think that's what it's giving me that kind of vibe um so just like my two mirrors i do plan to resell this vase just mainly because it's really in right now i know that i can get a good profit out of it especially that it's real solid brass um so yeah i'm kind of sad but i really just don't have the space for it and i really need to resell on this side so that i can have enough money to buy my future fixer upper home that's the big picture and that is the reason why i've been going to the thrift stores and all that sorts oh i'm so sorry about that um but yeah that is the reason why i've been reselling going to thrift stores so much on the side is because we're trying to buy our first fixer upper home so i really want that to happen and that means i'll have to sell these beautiful pieces but it's okay it's for a good cause my next purchase is this beautiful brown leather fossil purse and i got it for five dollars I really love brown bags. I feel like you can wear them all year round. But for me, I like to change my bags into the brown purses during the fall time because it just gives off that fall feel, fall vibes. So I like switching mines during that time. But of course, you can wear these bags all year round. And I also love that this bag is very simple but very beautiful. It has very clean lines and it looks really nice. So there's not too much going on. It's a nice casual bag that you can wear every single day. I also love that there's a lot of pockets. So this one has a really big one here that opens up. And then you see that there's another little pocket there. And then inside the big pocket, we have a zipper uh, enclosure. And then we have two more little pockets here for your cell phones. And then this one is just a, another little pocket that you can store whatever else you need to in here. And then behind it, we have another little pocket section. So I love it when bags have a lot of storage, a lot of pockets so that you can organize and store your purse nice and neatly without having it look chaotic inside. This also has this key here that dangles on the side. Really, really pretty. Um, it does have a little bit of little wear and stuff around it, but nothing too crazy. And for $5, you know, it's fine. Um, I like it when they have little characters like that. For my next purchase, it is this sequence board game. My family and I, we love playing board games. So I usually try to find affordable board games whenever I do go thrifting. Um, so we don't have sequence. I remember playing it a couple years back. Don't really recall how you play it, but that's okay. I think it has the instructions in here. So hopefully we can figure out how to play this game. If not, there's always YouTube to YouTube it. Um, so I bought this for $2. I think they have all the pieces in here. Not too sure, but we have, we have the cards and the three different colors. Oh, thank goodness. It will actually fit our family of three. Um, so I noticed that this box looks very vintage and looking at it, it definitely is a vintage, um, a vintage one. It was made back in 1995. So it was made back in 1995 and the dad giveaway is the photo in the back here. You can just tell this is from the nineties, uh, which I don't mind because I am a nineties baby. 
So I like that this is from the 90s. It looks very vintage and really old. So I like that. And yeah, for $2, it's a really great steal because these new is still like 15 or so dollars. So for my next group of items, I found them at the same uh, yard sale place. I found three different pieces. The first two pieces are these beautiful hand carved wooden bowls, you guys. Like, look at this. All right. I'll show you guys the first one first. Um, so this smaller one, I got it for $2. And you guys, I love wooden bowls or anything wood. They're just so beautiful. And to know that these were hand carved made it so much more special. The lady that was selling it, um, it was one of her friends who made these bowls. And I mean, I don't know why she's selling them because they're so beautiful, but hey, I love these and I can't believe I score some hand carved wooden bowls. Um, but yeah, these are just really beautiful. This one is a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper than the first one. And this bigger guy, I got it for $5. This one has a more smoother um, finish on the outside and the inside. This one is a little bit, you can feel some texture on it. Um, it's not too crazy, but the finishes on these two are a little bit different. I mean, I don't know why, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, with these two, I don't think you can technically eat food out of them. For sure, not this one. This one, maybe, maybe, I'm not too sure, but I don't plan to use them for eating food out of. I plan to use them as decor pieces in my home. Um, so they're fine the way they are. And I just love, love the colors of these wooden bowls. So my next purchase was from the same seller as well. And I got a punch bowl set. <laughs> I wasn't even planning to buy this, but I just so happened to saw it and it was all glass. Like all the pieces were glass and they were beautiful. And so I decided to buy it. This was definitely a splurge uh, purchase as it was $20. Um, I really, like I said, I really didn't plan on buying anything that expensive for myself, um, but I just couldn't pass it up. So let me show you guys how beautiful this punch bowl set is. Oh, and this is by Olivia and Oliver. I don't know. I've never heard of that brand, but then again, I don't really know my dishwares and stuff like that so i don't know but they make beautiful pieces for sure so this set comes with one ladle um eight cups and then one giant bowl and so this is the glass ladle you guys look at how beautiful this glass ladle is i've never seen a glass ladle before then again i don't shop for these things so i don't look for them but when I saw this glass ladle, it is what sold me because it's just so beautiful and so unique and really, really nice. So I was like, okay, sold, <laughs> even though it cost me $20, um, but I'm happy about the purchase. This glass ladle does have that little um, mouth groove here so you can um, grab your drink and pour it out easily. And then I have my eight glass cups here. I'm trying not to break it. It's really, really pretty and very small and super cute and adorable. Um, I noticed that they still have these little sticker tags here. So I'm assuming that the lady never used these because if you did, you would have taken them off but it's still here and it's also on the ladle as well. So I don't think she ever used these, which is even better. These are still new. Um, they do have the brand on the bottom of the glass. So that's really nice as well. And this is the giant glass bowl. It is so beautiful and quite heavy. Uh, but this just looks like the giant version of the glass cup, which is so nice that they match each other. Yeah, <laughs> they look identical to each other. This is the baby version and this is the big mama version. Um, but yeah, it's so beautiful. I love these.
So for my next purchase, it was this beautiful picnic basket. If you guys don't know this about me, I love picnics and I have one right now, a picnic basket, but um, it just so happens I like to bring a lot of food and decors with me. So one picnic basket is not enough. And so when I saw this one, I was like, okay, I'm getting it because I love the color. I love this orangey color of it. It looks so nice. Um, I thought it was a long burger basket, but it's not. It doesn't have the label on there. So unfortunately, it's not a long burger basket. But even so, it's still a really great picnic basket. And I got this for $5. It does have some broken parts right here on the side, but... That doesn't bother me too much as I'm keeping this for myself. So I didn't mind that because I love the price and I love the size of this picnic basket. And you know, both handles do work. And then it has the cute little lock up here. And then when you open it, it also has the lining inside. So that's really neat and cool that it has this lining inside. I don't know how i would actually clean it uh probably lysol spray it um but that's really nice to have the lining and then i think up here do you put your utensils and your napkins in um i'm guessing so I'm not too sure as i've never had a picnic basket like this before but i'm sure i can figure out what these pockets are for and maybe oh yeah I'll have to glue this back up. It's coming off, but that's fine. That's very little work that I have to do. But yeah, overall, I really love this basket. It's just so pretty and right in time for picnic season. I'm excited to do more picnics this year. I plan to do a lot more. So this picnic basket will come in handy. So these are my last two finds and they were from the same yard sale, which so happened to be our last yard sale that we visited as well. This yard sale was not planned and it just happened to be on the way back to our home. And so of course, I had to make another detour to check it out. And thankfully I did because I found two pieces of clothing. This first piece is this beautiful corduroy, um, kind of like a neon green yellow color as you guys can tell from my last video i'm not good at describing clothing or anything i <laughs> know you guys i'm really bad at it but i know that this is the corduroy um fabric which i love my husband hates this kind of fabric he thinks it's like rug and carpet so every time i see something of this fabric he's like don't get it don't get it but i got this for four dollars and it is by the brand Emory, Emory, Emory Park. Never heard of that before. I'm not a real uh, fashionista, so I don't know my brands or anything. But I just love the look of this short with strings. <laughs> it's like an overall piece kind of thing, I think, because it has the little straps up here. So it's like a short overall is what I'm calling it. Um, so these straps are adjustable, which is great. Um, this is in the size large, so I'm hoping that it fits me. I haven't tried it yet. But yeah, I really like the fabric. It looks like the vintage 90s style, even 70s. I love the butt, not the button. I love the bow up here, so cute. And I especially love pockets. I love it when shorts or skirts or dresses have pockets. It's just so nice to put your hand in these pockets um, and you can throw your phone in there and whatever else in there. This is a zip back, so that's really great. Um, I didn't even check if the zipper works. Let me see. I'm noticing some kind of separation on here. So I hope it's not broken. Okay, so the zipper works. Let's zip it back up and hopefully that <laughs> fixes that problem of the hole. Oh, oh, is it going to zip back up? Okay, it does. I can see, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a slight separation there. <gasps> oh my gosh, but hopefully... It won't it won't break on me at least let me wear it like a couple of times before you break on me please <laughs> please all right and then the next outfit i got um is this beautiful one piece jumper 
it's in this really pretty light olive green is it olive green a really pretty light green color uh definitely very soft material it does have an open back it has an open back and then a little cute little bow tie that you tie at the back which is really cute i don't mind that it's the front that i don't like it when it's too exposed is when my front is super exposed but this one looks really good and this one was five dollars this brand is by O'Neill and it's also in the size large. So I'm hoping it fits me, um, finger cross that it does. And these ones are going to be so great for when we go to the beach in July, which I can't wait for, um, especially with these two pieces. They're just very comfortable, very light and easy to wear and very bright and perfect for summer as well. So I'm excited to wear these for the beach, but I'm so excited to wear them every day as well. All right, you guys, this is it for my U-Haul you haul <laughs> this is it for my yard sale haul um i hope you guys had enjoy coming with me to go to the yard sales and seeing what i purchased let me know what did you like and what did you saw that you would have bought and i do want to know have you guys gone yard selling at all this year and if you have what is something that you purchased that you just love and if you haven't, do you plan on to? If you don't, I highly recommend you guys to try it out because it's so much fun. Um, just looking at these goodies, you just never know what you'll find. Also, don't forget to check out Whisk and see if there are any bags that you would like to buy. And if there are, don't forget to use my 10% discount code, which is EV10. I know, I forgot to mention that earlier, but it is EV10 to get an additional 10% off your order. Thank you, Whisk, so much for these beautiful, beautiful bags. I love it and I appreciate it. So thank you so much and thank you, you guys, for joining me. Have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next one. River flows one direction.